Hey everyone, welcome to Crest TV. It's been a while. Uh, we've just been recovering after ISC. So uh, thanks for joining us back here uh, for your regular roundup of everything going on in the UC industry and beyond. Now, I mentioned ISC. Uh, clearly it's show season because no sooner have we finished ISC, but we're now ramping up for Infocom and that's what the show is all about today. Now, I'm an Infocom newbie. Never been, never been to Vegas and never been to Infocom. So... I'm going to be like a rabbit in the headlights on this whole thing. So I've got my good friend and colleague, uh, Mr. Sam Kennedy, to help me and guide me through what goes on at Infocom and what to expect from Crestron. So Sam, thank you for joining us uh, this morning, this afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you, Neil. Very cool. So uh, Infocom, to, to, to the you know plucky Brit here, what, what's it all about? <laughs> So it's one of the biggest AV trade shows in the world, and um, Chris, one of Crestron's big premier events that we participate in. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, seeing lots of customers and partners next week, and showing everybody all the great things that uh, we have to offer. Yeah, it's it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, ISC was was fantastic. Getting back to in person events, you know, after two three years of, of virtual, all these kind of ideas of virtual events and which which were good you know but there's nothing that beats actually kind of meeting up having a beer and you know chatting about products so um obviously it's in vegas big convention center i think we actually crestron kitted out the convention center. i think the, the convention center is actually powered by crestron which is you know a demo in itself if you are are coming uh, which is pretty amazing um, I, it's it's uh, it's I, I agree. It's totally amazing. We're actually going to be doing a case study on the convention center that's going to be hosted by Mark Pellegrino on okay. Wednesday at twelve forty-five. So for I'm those glad you got the dates and actually, times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I took a note on that yeah. one. Sorry, Mark, that I don't have it all down to memory. Even my own time, I had to write down. But um, it's going to be amazing to see how how powerful Crest Run is that we mm. can drive all that great experience that all of the participants that come to the Las Vegas Convention Center get to experience. I mean, it's great, isn't it? And everyone's going to have all their gear on all the, you know, competitors and all the other, you know, companies have all their gear on the booth going, hey, look, we've got this, we've got that. And we're like, yeah, we're, we're all around you. This this place is powered by Crestron, you know, the lights, you know, if it didn't work, the lights wouldn't be on. So um, what, what a great case study. So I think you can still sign up for that case study tour, I think. If yeah, I'm I wrong, think it's a, I think he's doing it on Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're if you if you if you're busy, um, I think it's the same time, uh, same session, just done twice on uh, Wednesday and Thursday at twelve forty-five to one forty-five. I think if you come to the information desk on the Crestron booth, uh, W six zero three, I think uh, it's down here on the ticket tape down the bottom. W six zero three. You'll see it come up in it. Awesome. Come to the info desk. I think you can just book your tickets there or book your slot there. And I, I believe, again, I, I might be throwing lots of people under the bus, but I think if I remember right, that, that was the plan. Now, talking of um, uh, seminars and, and presentations, you, you're up for one as well. Uh, tell us, are you allowed to give away the title of what you're talking about? I can. Yeah, it's posted on the, on the, on the Infocom site. So I'm going to be talking about another case study of how the partnership between Crestron and the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team I'm going to talk about how they're leveraging Crestron uh, to drive successes for, for them. So I'm really excited. I'm going to going to make it pretty as entertaining as I can. And uh, so I encourage all of you to come take a listen and uh, watch. Uh, so that'll be on Thursday uh, from right. 1 to 1.30 in room W325. Okay, make notes here. Uh, w, what was it again? W what? W3? 325. 325. There you go, Thursday. Uh, make sure you go and see Sam to learn about what we're doing with the Mercedes. Again, people of i mean our, our partners at zoom you know they sponsor pretty much formula one you know there's lots of people sponsoring formula one and i think there's two things with sponsoring formula one and sponsoring these kind of some people just sort of put the sticker um on stuff you know they just put the name and and, and brand to stuff I, you know again i don't want to tell a spoiler of what you're going to be talking about but what we're doing with mercedes is, is different they're using again using our kit powering the team just like the convention center it's not just the fact of, of getting the Crestron name there. They're actually using the equipment to, to you know, enhance and, their experience. So um, And yeah. all of the kit, like all yeah. the, the, the whole Crestron solution. Yeah. It's not a single solution that they leverage. They leverage the unified communications uh, parts of uh, Crestron. They also leverage a lot of the AV products as well, like our DMNVX 
that uh, drives a lot of the audio and video around their buildings where the when the races are going on they're able to show guests so so i'll talk a little bit yeah. i'm going to be showing a little bit about uh how they leverage uh the crestron kit in uh in, in, in throughout all of uh mercedes amg patronus very cool now again there, there are lots more again do go and check out the schedule and uh, ronnie uh is doing one about uh, our smart cameras so yeah, I don't have the time as that is for that one, but again, make sure you check that out. Ronnie is awesome. As well as um, lots of training. So we yeah, also, okay. Gonna, okay, I don't know if you were going to talk about No, 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 no please. I, you've got the thing in front of you. So you, you yeah, there, there's a lot of training that we'll be putting on uh, to, throughout the event. Um, so I know that Rich Cezanne is going to be putting on a number. Uh, so is Lawrence yeah. Simmons. There's, a, there's quite a few, uh, quite a few training sessions that we will be uh, giving uh during the week so definitely why there's so many i don't want to list them all so definitely go and, and pay attention and, and read up and find out what uh, training sessions you want to uh, uh take part in of course you can come to our booth to see all of that or just check out the info infocom website yeah i'll put some links in the description on the on the youtube as well so do check those out so uh and and subscribe if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, get that in there uh, now we talked about the sessions but the, the clearly the big visible thing is the booth itself now I was sort of slightly taken aback at ISE because I'd never seen a stand, a booth quite that large uh, at a trade show. Uh, I've always been used to kind of small little kind of uh, little, little kind of stands. Whole nother level with uh, with Crestron. I'm guessing uh, at Infocom it's kind of similar. You know, big presence, big stand. I know you can't. There's a couple of secrets you can't give out. So again, if you're coming to Infocom, you do need to. There's, there's only two, at least two demos that i know of one is just amazing and will blow your mind the other one is actually amazing and will blow your mind as well so let's not talk about those two things because we'll get fired uh, but tell us what we can talk about of what people can see on the booth well i'm with you i'm very anxious and excited to share with everyone the the secret ones that we can't yet share uh, but you'll have to just come to the booth to see them uh we we, we uh have outdone ourselves again with the booth it will be it, it's it's looking amazing. I can't wait for everybody to uh, to see it. But uh, at the centerpieces to one of the big things that we're going to want to show, of course, is uh, the One Beyond cameras and what we're building with there. So everyone that can come to our booth, you're going to get a chance to see the, the One Beyond cameras, experience the One Beyond cameras. There's such a, a portfolio of devices that really solve those large room with optical zoom cameras. So what we, I would say at ISC, one of the biggest hits for us was what we're delivering with One Beyond. I think you're going to, all of us that are in the U.S., you're going to get a chance at Infocom to experience that as well. So that would be one of the biggest uh, things that uh, I'm expecting a lot of people are going to take away. We're also going to be showing some of our partnerships with the likes of Jabra. So you're going to get a chance to see the Jabra Panicast 50 with the uh, Flex in action. We'll be talking a lot about uh, some of our control and what, we're, what we've recently delivered with... Uh, with the Crestron virtual control so that you can uh, get all the, those room controls, but do it in a with a single server that can power up to 500 rooms. So you're gonna get a chance to uh, see and experience that. We'll be talking about some of our, um, our digital media uh, HD uh, presentation switchers. So you get a chance to see and experience that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of the, I think, highlights of the booth will be pretty fun for, for those of you who are into uh, into high quality video, but also want to have some fun with it. Um, you can come and do a test drive of a um, of an F1 car uh, with video games. Uh, with uh, with the, we have the whole chairs and the, it, it's going to feel just like you're driving uh, one of those cars. Mm. Plus, we'll all get to watch and see how powerful and how NVX can actually drive this high quality video around a building in this case around a booth so uh and that's just yeah. getting a taste of what we what you're going to see there is a lot more plus we'll have a lot of our subject matter experts i mean they feel like half of crash is going to be there you know? <laughs> so um it's uh, again a great opportunity for you to not only see all the great technology but have a, a great time in talking to a lot of our a lot of our subject matter experts yeah, totally. i think that esports demo is interesting i mean it was a, it was a big crowd pleaser at, at isc but it i don't was. think i don't think everyone actually kind of got what was going on i mean clearly we had these kind of racing f1 racing simulators and everyone you know obviously wants to go and play on them but the, the big thing about it was is that the 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 playstation or xbox whatever they were running off was kind of hidden over there and you know we were sending usb and video um from the controllers to the the xbox and and back again 
over an IP network. It's, I think it was a single gig feed at 4K 422 with like zero latency. You know, the, the fact that you can play a video game um, over a, an IP link, a, a one gig connection at, at 4K with, with you know, near on zero latency was hugely powerful. And again, when you come there, you're kind of sitting, oh, yeah, you can race the thing. But that's what you need to get in your head is that the, we're, we're sending the controls, the steering, the pedals are going across an IP network and the video is going across an IP network and it is frame by frame, accurate, no latency, 4K, stunning. It sure, it, it sure drives a lot of people into our booth. Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to, to get, I, I, we had a, a nice long line at yeah. IC, brought a lot of people in and it was really amazing to watch when the, you get a couple of kids there that really <laughs> knew how to drive those cars. <laughs> it, you know, watching it on the big screens, it was, you couldn't tell that it wasn't real. I mean, it was, yeah. it was, it's pretty amazing. And to see how we're able to drive that high quality video, drive that high quality video uh, through the, the crash on NVX was, it's just a very powerful experience. Yeah. So, and again, I'll, I'll tease it, but I'm not going to say any more, but there are definitely two secret demos that, and they're, they're big. Again, you, you can't miss them when you come to the booth, there will be a line definitely for one of them uh, for sure. Uh, and crowd control. Uh, so do make sure you hook up and sign up for uh, that one. I'll just, uh, for, uh, I think, again, I don't think I'll get in trouble for this one, but we're definitely showing front row as well for Microsoft. So if you're into Teams, uh, we have got front row on the booth. We did some uh, some demos of that yesterday uh, with Jason, which were very funny. Uh, so again, if you want to see Microsoft front row, come and have a look at that. Uh, the smart composition stuff from, uh, from um, Jabra. And again, Crestron will be not just on our booth, but again, on our Alliance Partners booth. So I'm sure you'll see lots of flex and lots of other Crestron products around the show. Now, it runs Wednesday through Friday. Uh, certainly, we will be there uh, all three days. Um, so hook up with Sam, hook up with me. Jason Mould is going to be there. Lauren's going to be there. Uh, uh, Brad is going to be there. Everyone, all the important people and you know everyone that brings this together. A big shout our out. Our product to leaders will be yeah. there. Our senior executives will be there. Uh, and we, we, this is a big event for us. We're, we're very, very excited at all levels here. Um, and so definitely, as I said, it feels like about half of Crestron is going to be there. So it's a great opportunity for all of you to come meet, meet, uh, you know, meet with us. It just uh, all of us being together. That was, I mean, we were lucky enough to be at ISC. I think I'm still finally recovered from that. Uh, just from uh, it's 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 a long week, but uh, you know, just as we recover, ready, let's go again to Vegas. Yep. And uh, but again, it'll be a great opportunity for everyone to see the latest and greatest from Crestron. See the fun we're having. I mean, there is a lot of great products and solutions, and and everyone's really fired up here at Crestron to solve customer problems, enable our partners. So I definitely encourage everyone to come. I I don't know that you'll be able to miss our booth because we'll have, <laughs> if not the biggest, one of the biggest booths. Uh, we have, right uh, right uh, very very great location. So I'm sure, I imagine everyone's going to see us either way, but. Uh, you know, come in, say hello if you if you've seen us because it's yeah, like I said, we're having a lot of fun. There's a lot of great products to 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 show and and to show all of you. Yeah, definitely. And again, I I'm really looking forward to first uh, first Infocom, first Vegas uh, for me. Uh, wow. That could get, could get messy. Uh, do come over. Do find me. Come and grab a selfie. Uh, we're doing a kind of selfie thing. I'm gonna hopefully have some prizes for selfies. So come and find me for that. Uh, we're gonna be doing video content with our partners. Big shout out to Netgear who have been amazing. Uh, helping us and supporting us on uh, the demos on the stand. Um, who else have I got to show? Sure, uh, the Shaw guys and girls, absolutely amazing. I was there at their place uh, recording some stuff as well with their new 920. That thing will blow your mind, and we've got that um, doing some Jabra. stuff. Jabra as Hudley. well. Hudley. So again, all of our alliance partners, uh, Zoom and Microsoft as well, let's call them out. Of course. Uh, thank you for all of your support. And again, uh, just the last thank you to all of the, the Crestron people who are there right now building the thing and across the weekend it's a mammoth operation i saw the videos of like stuff being hauled onto big lorries and stuff you're not allowed to out. share some of those yet because no 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 no, no, no but again they are doing an amazing job so big thank you to all the crestron people that are involved and put this together roseanne and the team in the uh, exhibition and events team uh, for putting that together now uh, Sam, thank you for joining us. I will see you next week um, at, at the show. If you're watching this next week, then I'll see. I'll be there. Um, thank you for joining us, and uh, I'll wrap this uh, one up. So, thank you for joining us on Crest TV. This is a quick update of what to expect from Crestron at Infocom 2022. If you are there, I say come and find us. Come and say hello. 
if you're not there do make sure you follow us on social media um hashtag crest tv uh, look for at crestron on uh twitter instagram uh, youtube linkedin all the usual places uh, and if not if you can't make it and you miss all of that don't worry we'll wrap it up on crest tv afterwards lots of content be created and we'll be running that afterwards so have a great uh, weekend whatever you're doing and i will see you either in person or virtually next week at infocom 2022